Hey guys, what's up? We are back with another video today, and today I am doing my Jets 2021 NFL prediction. So as always, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I'm only 8 subscribers away of my goal of 175 before the end of the summer. Please help me at that goal by hitting that subscribe button right down below. Like this video if you enjoy it, comment all your thoughts and opinions down below, and as soon as I hit 175 subscribers, I'll be doing two viewer suggested videos. So make sure that you put your suggestions down in the comment section down below. Um, I'm sorry I've been gone for a little bit, but um, I have some exciting news for the channel. I'm going to be doing a collaboration um, with a channel called The Blitz. Um, I will put his link down in the description. Um, so I'll be doing that collaboration. It should be coming out in like a week or two. Um, so we will be doing a video on the Cleveland Browns. So make sure that you are looking out for that on his channel, and then I will probably put it on my channel also. But let's get into today's video. So the New York Jets last year, I was not very nice to them because they had Adam Gase and you had a just a bad team overall, in my opinion. Um, so with this upcoming team, I really like Robert Sala, great head coaching hire, good enthusiasm, a good team building guy, and a good defensive schemer. So I really like him coming into this season a lot more than I did last season. I had the Jets going 1-15 last season, and everybody thought I was crazy and stupid and, well, I don't mean to say I was right and to annoy anybody, but to say that I do have a little bit of authority on the subject when they went 2-14. and 14. Um, So, and to be honest, one of their wins against the Cleveland Browns really shouldn't have happened because Kevin Stefanski just had a brain fart and just didn't uh, know how to coach a football team anymore. I know he had all his wide receivers gone, but then why didn't he run the ball with like two of the best backs in the NFL? Too long of a rant. Um, so their first game is against the uh, Carolina Panthers. I have this as a loss here. I think the first game for a new head coach is always usually a pretty tough one. Um, it, it is going to be a tough game, and plus with it being at Carolina, I have that as a loss, and I really like Carolina Panthers coming into this season. Then you have a home game against New England Patriots. The Patriots are just such a well-coached team. If you didn't have Belichick, I'm picking the Jets to win this game. But since they have Belichick and with uh, Robert Sala just in his first year of coaching, I'm gonna ha it's going to be a hard time to pick the Jets here, so I have this as a loss in their first matchup. Then ha um, heading into the Broncos game, uh, you're in Denver. I have this as a loss. Denver just has so much more talent. And again, with this being the third game of the year, and a first-year head coach, I just have a hard time picking the Jets. Even though I like some of the talent with, um, I think you brought in Corey Davis, and you have Denzel Mims, and a pretty solid offensive line with Morgan Moses you added. Uh, just recently you added Mikel. You have Mikel Becton at left tackle. You have Elijah Vera Tucker. So I'm really liking those cornerstones at the tackle and guard position, especially to the left side. Then you have a home game against the Titans. I'm pretty high on the Titans. I have this as a loss here. I think even though this is a home game, uh, I think you guys will probably struggle, especially on the exterior with guys like Julio Brown and AJ or Julio Brown, Julio Jones and AJ Brown on the outside. I think that your cornerbacks can be good. I like Marcus May as a safety. Bryce Hall's not a bad guy, but the problem is is that two all pro, pro bowl type guys, it's going to be hard to cover them both, so I have the Titans winning that game, and plus, it's just hard to tackle Derrick Henry, just no matter who you are. Um, then you have a game, and Atlanta, I have this as a loss here, I think that the Falcons are going to be able to win this game, mostly because it is in Atlanta, um, if this game was in New York, I'd probably have this as a win for the Jets, but as this game is in uh, New York, I have this as, or this game is in Atlanta, I have it as a loss. Their first win of the season is coming against the New England Patriots. And I know I said before that the coaching and stuff like that, I think at this point Robert Sala will be able to get some enthusiasm into this team, get some good defensive play. And to be honest, I just think that the Jets are a more talented roster than the Patriots are, so I have that as a win there. I just don't have beat them in week one because it is a really hard to beat Bill Belichick in your first ever matchup and your second ever game. Uh, so I have that as a win there. Then you have a home game against the Cincinnati Bengals. I have this as a loss here. 
Um, the reason why I have it as loss is even though I really like kind of the defensive line that the Jets have with Quinnen Williams and some other really good depth pieces, I think that the offensive line of the Bengals should be able to hold up enough for Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, uh, Tyler Boyd to get the ball. Uh, distributed by Joe Burrow. So I think that Joe Burrow, with having that extra year of experience under his belt, as long as he's not injured, I think that the Bengals should win this game. But this may be a win here for the Jets if uh, Joe Burrow's injured or if some other big thing comes up. Then you have a away game against the Colts. I have this as a loss here. I'm a big fan of the Colts coming into the season. I like um, Carson Wentz a lot more than other people do, so I think that it should be an interesting time there. Um, and with the Colts having a more complete roster defensively and offensively, especially on the uh, edges with cornerback and Rocky Sin. And with linebacker, with Darius Leonard, I really like what they're doing, even though I love what the Jets are doing, too. I think that the Colts, being a playoff team last year, I think are a little bit more developed, and I think there may be some growing pains here for Zach Wilson. Then you have a home game against the Bills. I have this as a loss here, even though it is going to be super fun in the next couple of years to see Zach Wilson versus uh, Josh Allen. I'm going to favor Josh Allen in this matchup just because the Bills are such a complete and great team. Big fan of him last year. I think I had him going 13-3. and You can check out that video from last year if you want. Um, and I think they went, I think they went, uh, I think it was either 12-4 and or 13-3. and uh, so they had a really good year, and I think with Josh Allen coming back um, healthy and improved and ready to have another Super Bowl caliber run, I wouldn't be surprised if this build team is not only competing for another division title, uh, being the reigning division champs, but also for a Super Bowl berth and victory. Then you have a home game against the Dolphins. I have this as a loss here. Uh, this is kind of a last game before the schedule gets a lot easier, uh, but I have that as a loss there because I think the Dolphins are just a way more complete team, so much more talent, um, especially in the secondary with Saban Howard and, um, oh, what's the Cowboy, the former Cowboys player name that I can't think of his name now? Um I can't think of his name. Um, but they have a really good secondary, including defensive line, linebackers. You have a great overall defense there. And then you have a pretty solid offense with the improvement of Jalen Waddell, uh, Liam Eikenberg to the offensive line. So I think that this should be a fun game. But I have it as a loss there, a fun game to watch if you are looking for a good game that Sunday. This is where the schedule gets a lot easier uh, with a road game against the Texans. I have this as a win. Texans are the worst team in the NFL, hands down, no doubt about it. Worst team in the NFL. Have that as a win there. Then you have a home game against the Eagles. This was a really, really thin game, but I'm going to pick the Eagles to win this game. I think that with a – ah, man – this is such a tough game to pick, but because I had the Eagles win it before, I'm going to keep to the Eagles winning it, so I have that as a loss there. Then you have a home game against the Saints, and to be honest, I think the Saints could struggle more than the Eagles this year, even though I have the Eagles with a little bit worse of a record than the Saints. Um, I think that the Eagles are going to struggle, so I have that as a win for the uh, Jets. Then they have a away, away game against the Dolphins. Like I said before, I think the Dolphins are a more complete team and a better team. Then you have a home game against the Jaguars. The main thing about this game that I have is A, it's home field advantage, and B, I like the Jets roster a little bit more, especially on the defensive end, uh, more than the Jaguars. So I have that as a win there for the Jets. Uh, their fourth win of the season, and then you have two tough games, both losses against the Buccaneers and at uh, Bills and Buffalo. Uh, the Buccaneers, Super Bowl reigning champs, brought everyone back. Going to be a really tough game either way, but it should be an interesting game. Uh, can't wait to see it, but I have that as a loss there. And then finally, in your final game against the Bills and Buffalo, you ain't beating the Bills and Buffalo, especially when you're completing for the first seed in the uh, conference and maybe with the division title with the uh, Miami Dolphins. You'll have to check out my Dolphins preview if you want to know how close it is. Um, but that pretty much wraps it up. I have them going 4-13 and 13 throughout the season. So as always, make sure you hit the two videos down below. Hit the playlist right over here. 
hit the subscribe button, and as always, have a great day. Bye.